Hey guys, this is my second Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you all the build hacks I could remember from YouTube I just learned. And um, I have really a few pets. Like Zuzu the sheep, Felix the cat, Cow the chicken, and Max the moose. So these pets are got, my pets are gonna be the audiences audience for today's video and let's see the what's the first hack okay interesting my grind again another video from him okay I already know this one I need to turn on the sound then. Dude, that's, dude, that's an optical illusion. You could use it to throw your friends. It's got a fence gate that it may be a glitch, but when they get close to it, they realize that it's just a hack. These hacks do work. But sometimes people never know about it. Let me get some spruce fence gates. It doesn't actually matter whatever fence gates you have. Um, I don't know if this hack again works. No, I guess I have to keep trying. Um, that isn't, that's the wrong spot. Dude. Why am I placing this in the wrong spot? Um, this optical illusion is not working. I don't know how why. Don't forget to move. This hack doesn't work. Whatever, let's get into the next one. <coughs> this hack can actually make you may build a modern house. Absolutely genius. Sorry guys, I'm having a, a stuffy nose today. Well, I know that some of these hacks are gonna be very thick. It's very hard to work. Aren't you excited, Felix? Genius. How did I not think of that? Okay. I'm still gonna have my own modern home. Maybe I was just going to check it. She just crossed me. Quartz block. Why do I always have an ever spelling? <sighs> and this might be a long video because um, this in total is one hundred and one. Why not? Why not just build a bunch of cauldrons? Because multiple sink. Because why not hashtag mul mul multiple sinks? 
Honestly, the twi fire doesn't do anything bad, but it just looks amazing. <laughs> it looks like a pet. Um, yeah, the boot has. I forgot to. I, I did once in in all this build hacks in one of those my favorite worlds and it's absolutely hilarious. Um a giant thing? I mean um a giant You will we get the best of them and we will just hit the buzzer master carefully. That's what I remember it from the same. <sighs> I wish I had the vote edit mod pack installed on but I don't have any mine coins or whatever I don't and I don't know how to install mod pack I made a huge mistake. Why did I do that? <coughs> well, that also still filled it up, but that's a good, which is good. That's an empty bucket. What? Okay, so what
If you want to make it pretend that it's like a scoop of water, you could place a water bucket inside of it. I just edited these blue tags, making ultra realistic. Now I got myself a well. And so, so, so. I knew this. I know. I already know this big hack. I'm kidding. This is too difficult. What's the bad mistake? Number 10. You can make another chair by using trap doors either side of again any other staircase and place a door on the back. To it looks like a higher chair. You can have a different interior palette to your exterior by making your walls two blocks thick, and they can be vastly different as the exterior should be up. Number 12. You can use multiple layers of color. Dude, this is too complicated. I never do this, guys. Number 13. When you're building a very simple house, make sure that you at least three blocks high from the inside so you don't hit your head. Number 14. Of course. Don't hurt your head. If it doesn't look like you get a head. Like I have these tents. Number 15. You can use a gradient of different colors on stained glass to create a smoke effect. Or you can use cobwebs to also look like smoke. Number 16, by building the exact same thing on the city of Chola, with a layer of glass and a gradient in the middle, you can make a somewhat underbelly motion and make it see the number of glass is actually made mirror. This is a very cool effect. It's so, it's so complicated, it takes a lot of time. Number 18, unconnected redstone around the skull looks suspiciously like blood. Number 19, by using the coal, Oh, this hat's out of bar. I really call, I mean, this glowing carpet. Guys, I won't do them anymore. You just have to remember that's all. This hack is for your farm. Most of you probably know this or it's a farm. You can place carpets over the top of the water or lily pads on top of it as well so that you can walk along and not drown in it. Similarly at number 29, you can hide the water. Guys, how did he got the water to stop not flowing into that land? You can place buttons on pretty much any surface. I know, it looks like pebbles. Rocks to look like little pebbles. It's a very neat detailing technique. Number 31. You can use banners of any color to create curtains by placing them on the other side. Number 32. This one's going to look kind of rubbish because I've only got a small waterfall. But if you take the cobweb and place it at the bottom of the waterfall, it kind of looks like all the water vapor that comes up and gushes out into the air as a cool effect. Number 33. By mixing in multiple different textures with the same color gradients, such as all these whites and grays, you can make some really cool different terrain. Number 34, by mixing in very similar but subtle textures into 
parts of your build, you can make some very nice detailed structures without having to do too much depth. Number 35, you can make a hanging flower pot by using a grass block, putting a flower on top, and surrounding it in wooden trap doors with a fence over the top. Number 36, by mixing in multiple textures again into the floor along with some half blocks, you can make an awesome road. Number 37, by replacing the fences with fence gates between each fence post, you can make a better fence. That was a lot of fences, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 38, a very simple one, but by putting a carpet on top of the fence, you can make a very quick small table. Number 39, you can decorate your torches on the wall by adding an item frame and then adding an additional item in it, such as an anvil or a trap door. Number 40, buttons, especially wooden ones, make a very odd but great way to detail your furniture and buildings. Number 41, using shulker boxes is a very expensive way but cool way of detailing certain industrial style builds, such as this pipe. Number 42, you can hide secret rooms behind paintings by adding some signs and then putting the painting over the top. Number 43, you can make a parasol by alternating beds around a post with a flower pot on the top. It's great for any kind of beach or summery style build. I do know it's December. Number 44, you can make a bed or a sleeping bag on the floor by laying down carpets and some snow at the end. Number 45, you can add any sort of flowers around a house that isn't particularly full of color and all of a sudden the palette will pick up and it will seem a lot more bright. Number 46, you can use TNT and ignite it on your friend's house to blow up his stuff and run away before they kill you. <laughs> That's not a hack, it's just pro thank you. Can you use string as an almost invisible prop to place things like carpet and they look like they're floating in mid-air. Number 48, using world edit on card cool. blocks, you can change the data value of certain blocks to change their texture. For example, this wood is now six edit. sided. I, I can't use world edit because I don't have to You can build a little secret base underneath a tree just by putting a ladder underneath. Number 15, you can make a pergola using signs placed one after the other attached to the end, so it looks like the entire sign is one thin plank that goes through two rocks. That's what about it. You can make an enlarged portal just by simply making it larger. It does not have to be the minimum size of two by three. You can make it much bigger. Number 52, this is a trick for all of you pranksters out there. Oh, guys, I might have to end the video here. I'll do a part two or maybe I'll do part three of this video. Bye.